Hello, Port fans. Welcome to your edition of the Match Committee, Round 23. It's all thanks to Bank SA, the proud premier partner of the Port Adelaide Football Club. Sam McClure and Terry Wallace with you. And Plough, although it is a slim chance, depending on what happens on the weekend, this game against the Dockers could still be for eighth spot. Yeah, look, I mean, you've, uh, you've got a dare to dream. I mean, that's what things are about when you're talking about uh, footy and you know, they need the results to clearly go their way. The Hawks to get beaten. Probably you're burying for Adelaide, which is uh, a strange Weird one. in itself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Adelaide and not by too much um, to have the game open. I don't think it's anything about that for Port. I mean, you know, they'd be disappointed to miss out on finals and if that was open, great, but... Boy, oh boy, for the last game of the year in front of their home faithful after what they dished up last week, they've got to show a fair bit. Yeah, and they're going to have to show it against a side with a new coach as well, David Hale, is coming in. Of course, it's been a huge weekend over in the West, a huge week, I should say, with Ross Lyon departing. The changes so far for Sunday teams, Dersma back, which is great, Lysette back, which is interesting, Mays, Frampton, Drew, Sutcliffe and McKenzie. Out go the injured Tom Clure and the omitted Laddams and Butters. And for the Dockers, Banfield, Bewley, Jones, Collier, Nyhouse and Carter. Ballantyne and Sanderlands listed as rested. That would be a permanent rest player. Yeah, well, look, um, we're only presenting the match committee. But I've got to say, I've still, I still got to call what I, I think. And uh, Scotty Lyson, I haven't quite understood the whole scenario of him being out of the side. I, I still, think a lot of people have. I still think he's their, their best ruck option. I thought his form... Uh, with the ex exception of the two weeks just prior to him going out, and clearly that's why he went out, yep. but uh, yeah, it had been reasonable enough. I um, yeah, really enjoy having Dursma back. His dynamics really helped the side, but uh, I think they're a better side with both Lysette and Dursma in. And as I sort of said, they just didn't really fire a shot last week, so let's hope that turns around. And if you're picking maybe one thing that David Hale might bring to Frio in their last game, what could it be? Uh, well, one thing, I, I think that he'll play Chera up the ground a little bit more than what he has played. Yep. And try to play through the middle of the ground and just give them a bit of freedom. Uh, most of the people that you speak to have sort of said Ross Lyon, uh, the fans didn't like the defensive aspects of his game. So I'm sensing that David Hale will free them up and sort of say, go and take them on. Let's see if we can kick a, you know, a really a big winning score. So I think that they'll be more offensive in flavour. But surely, surely the Port Adelaide's got enough in the tank to be able to get it done. Good luck, Port fans. Let's hope we're still speaking next week about that unlikely spot in the eight. This has been the Match Committee. All thanks to Bank SA, the proud premier partner of the Port Adelaide Football Club. <laughs>